<laughs> the Tesla coil is uh, a musical Tesla coil, and so it will accept MIDI signals to create the sound that you hear. And MIDI is really just basically like a computer code that tells a MIDI-enabled device uh, what sort of note to play. And so on the controller, we have a MIDI input that uh, is uh, sent to the Tesla coil uh, to control the note that's being played. And then any other device that gives you a MIDI output can be plugged into the Tesla coil. And so we've got uh, three instruments here today. We have a keyboard that has a MIDI output, and so we can connect our controller straight into the keyboard, play different notes on the uh, Tesla coil. And then we also have two instruments that don't have a MIDI output. They have a normal analog audio output. And so to convert that into MIDI, uh, we have a device right here, which uh, is uh, called a universal MIDI converter. And it takes an audio output or an audio output from a device as its input and then converts that to a MIDI signal, which we can then feed into um, a device that accepts the MIDI signals. And so the two instruments that we have here that are going to make use of this device are an electric guitar and a theremin. So we have here is a controller which can control the uh, coil over there. And we have uh, two modes which are pulse and uh, MIDI. Um, and so if you switch to pulse and um, you can be able to control it manually using the, this knob over here. This one is for uh, controlling the power of the coil and if you turn it on it's gonna be, be very um, powerful like this one. Okay. Whoa. Uh, and then uh, if you want to adjust the frequency you can use the other knob and you can see the frequency is changing right now. So the way that a theremin works is that the user essentially acts as one of two conductors in a capacitor where the other, co the other conductor would be the metal rods attached on either end of the device. By moving my hand closer or further away from the conductors, I can essentially change the capacitance of the capacitors, which the device then turns into information about amplitude and frequency, which we can plug into an amplifier and hear audibly and perceptibly. As I move my hand closer. And so this is the Tesla coil, and it has three main components, which are the base, the primary coil, and the secondary coil. And on the top, we have uh, an electrode over here, which uh, will produce back um, from this to uh, the metal rod over there. And so what the base does is, is basically control the Tesla coil, and also um, it also store energy. So basically, we kind of pump energy from the um, normal electricity system and it's going to store a lot of energy using the capacitor over there. And when it reach um, a certain energy enough to produce uh, a very powerful spark, um, it's going to uh, push the energy onto the primary coil and the, the voltages in the primary coil will um, oscillate over time. So it so because the changes in the voltage is going to create a magnetic field which uh, in, induce a very a higher voltage on the secondary uh, coil. And as a result, um, this electrode over here uh, store a lot of energy and eventually it's going to break down as the um, spark. Um, from the electrode to the metal rod. 